Hello everyone, this is General Oda and welcome back to our Let's Play Rome 2 Total War. And today is September 18th, 2013 and this basically means that Patch 2 has now been officially released to the public. So here we are playing Patch 2 of the game and it also means that uh, Nias, Fabius, and Bustus has been honored by the Roman Republic. Now this is the general that leads the second legion and it looks like the second legion has also leveled up so let us do a grand camp following addition which reduces our upkeep by 8% for all land units and gives us a pretty good uh, replenishment rate and then morale boost as well so let's do that right here and you notice that we're also going to gain more money per turn because of that and last time we were battling the the SD, the ASD, the ASD, so, something like that. And uh, Salve. How can I here, let's see if we can actually wipe out, wipe out uh, these dudes. Military subversion. Attack. Let's do assault Attack patrol. Again. Now, will this work? Well, and it war. failed. Commander. All right, so. Ready for orders. Let us see what we can do here. So we have two armies here. And we will probably start a war with the Budini very, very soon. Uh, let's see. Okay, so the the Eighth Legion is marching towards the realm of the Budini uh, forces. So here we'll leave them in the in the less cold portions of the uh, landscape so that they can recover their ranks before they uh, charge in there. Now we also have a fair amount of money so let us use some of it. We also have a bunch of food now, 82, which is very good for us. Commander. Now here we're going to actually try to reduce our our uh, upkeep so we were at 7500 600 earlier so as we're disbanding these uh, mercenary troops we're actually gaining about a few hundred per uh, unit so these mercenaries are pretty expensive so let us get rid of all of these guys I mean I definitely did read your comments and uh, I'm afraid we here I am uh, boosting back up our income to over 10,000 however as as soon as I do that I'm also gonna start recruiting troops from uh, another province so I'm gonna move these guys back to the Sicil Pina province so that they can actually get legion legionnaires so it looks like these guys are all veteran legionnaires so we'll add a first cohort in some V lights so three V-Lights similar to the previous army and also let's see some more veteran legionnaires and then a bunch of just regular legionnaires that will gain EXP as they fight. So this will cost four turns so let's not do that. Let's see if we can spend our money more wisely. So this turn we'll just do that and we'll go to the next turn and do it again. Here we will do fountains keep people happy seems to be pretty unhappy in this uh, area those slaves are very uh, unhappy people well one can only hope that they would be unhappy because they are slaves right but here in Rome we need we must keep these slaves happy because otherwise they'll kill all of our Roman Roman peeps Alright, so this guy has a pretty big um, barbarian army. Uh, we will keep this though for now, as we're not sure when we'll get attacked. Now let's increase, let's increase the Temple of Minerva. Wait, we'll, be, we'll build this into a Temple of Minerva so that this province can stay extra happy. Now I'm not sure if we will end up. Uh, finishing off these uh, client states but uh, we'll have to see later in the future now this province is surprisingly very very happy so magna 
So all of Germany is very happy, but they're also all under under this under our control now. So because of that, I will first check out the details of this province to see why they are so happy. And <clears throat> it looks like squalor seems to be an issue, but that is something that I don't care too much about at the moment. So let us move this army and position it here so that we can attack attack uh, this prov this the Nanmites. So this will take a while. So let us let us do a force march so that these guys can get to their um, their destination much quicker and also so that these guys can now actually replenish their troops alright so that's one one army uh, Alabu is uh, fairly unhappy but we do own all of it so this is Suibe, Suibia which was the one of the factions that we destroyed earlier and these this is the SD which we are about to destroy and this guy is just doing things and Commander. let us see Ready for battle. so the second legion is actually ready to move so we will let's see should we march south or should we march this way I'm thinking we should march this way but let's see Looks like no matter where I go, I lose guys. Journey oh wait, completed. maybe right here. Waiting for more orders. All right, fantastic. We don't actually lose any guys by going there. That's your command. Now this legion will also follow suit. March. You have further orders. All right, this will be relatively undefended, but there should be a big enough garrison to take care of these guys. So here we'll end our turn. And with patch 2, let's see how quickly this actually goes. Alright, so it looks like we have a rebellion here. And to save us some time, we will do an aggressive, uh, aggressive auto-resolve. And we managed to succeed in winning. And we also have another rebel army here. So we will also auto resolve this. It's in Octurdon. Also slay all rebels. So it looks like with patch 2, um, it was relatively quicker. I, I would say that lasted about a minute and 45 seconds. Uh, it might be a little longer, but uh, it's definitely an improvement from before. So let us try to slaughter this army once more, and we managed to slaughter them. So now, basically, you might be wondering, oh, why did we do that instead of sending an army? Well, this basically saves us some moves so that we can use our agents versus using um, an army to take care of all of those things. All right, so let's see. Let's do. Uh, let's do this one. Okay. So, so far the patch seems to be pretty good. And we'll just continue to march our two legions back to relatively green pastures. Hmm, so we'll do this, we'll upgrade this. And looks like technology... Whoa, wow, this is a huge improvement. It tells you how many turns is left to the economic research. So that's really, really good. I like that uh, new improvement. Commander. Now we have this legion At here, once. and basically, let's see if Ready we can put them in the men. forest and not lose any men. Your next command. All right, so just this portion of the forest allows us not to die. So anything with the skulls means that we will lose men to attrition, like the cold or or just anything. At your command. So it looks like we can get some more men, so let's get some more veteran legionnaires for the next turn. 
And here we got we hunger for the 9th Legion. And they are in the provincial capital just defending and let's see why the public order is so miserable. So mostly slaves and also building squalor. Now I'm not sure exactly how we can make this better but we can make it so that we do uh, commercial stimulation so we can get some more money. And then I'm not sure what else, pro what other provinces we have that actually build units. And we should probably add a few more when we expand and select one of these places. Ready for orders. All right, so we got this guy still marching over. At once. Ready, willing. So let us let us uh, send some additional agents Making into the enemy territory so we can figure out what's going on Someone bring me a fresh toga. I'm filthy. Ready for so the ninth legion is in a good position now they can either go north or south I'll probably position it so that this guy takes we this settlement the and the ninth legion will take the nan namen namen tum namen tum they only have two provinces so we should be able to hopefully wipe them out very quickly there's also rebels here seems to be rebels everywhere and public order seems to be relatively good here with the exception of corruption but too much corruption is not good now these guys are pretty miserable and they don't seem to have a very big army either so if we wanted, we could destroy them. However, they might be useful being a an ally that uh, takes the brunt of all sea issues. However, their naval forces are actually not too bad. Okay, so let's see if we can get a an alliance going. But before we do, let's see if we can get a trade going. So it looks like I am back to, to steadfast. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so now we are steadfast and no longer just trustworthy. Now we got a treaty going with these guys. Pontus seems like Welcome. a good place to trade I with. Throw open the doors They're to very you far away. So the further away they are, probably the better. Who are these guys? Ah, these guys are right under us. The Boudini we're gonna attack in the next turn. Uh, who are these guys? These guys are reliable. Be a patient audience for your uh, low rating. So let's see if we can get um, one more. All right, these guys are really far away, but let's let's well give it a shot. Nice, very nice, very nice. Okay, one more, one more. Uh, these guys. For the sake of friendship that has been and friend. Oh, very nice. So that was easy. So they're at war with pretty much everyone, but let's get a trade settlement, uh, trade agreement with them anyways. Okay, so what else can we do here that would generate more wealth and things that we need to do in order to advance our uh, domain? Hmm. Alright, so those guys are in position these guys as well so we're basically gonna wait until this legion can get down here so then we can kinda sweep sweep down and take whatever they own so there's three settlements four settlements that we need to take so alright gonna end the turn here alright so it looks like it's back to our turn and the seventh legion has lost its uh, general so we are the house of Julia which means None of these guys matter, so let's uh, do that. Just give it to some random guy. So the ninth legion is pretty well equipped. So here we will get some uh, just regular legionnaires. All right, let's see. These guys just have one auxiliary camp. I mean cohort barracks. 
Alright. So this legion will be ready soon. Just a few more rounds before we're done recruiting. Alright. Oh! Well, oh, Noble Death. Uh, that's kind of weird that it showed up after that. What do you wish of me? All right, uh, let's give him something. Anything is really. I mean, these guys don't do too much, anyways. Ready, willing, and able. Let's see. Nope, Have can't do that. All right, so it looks like we are effectively out of time. Uh, thank you guys for watching.